When you use CSS variables, there's actually two types of variables, global and local variables. So let's take a look at what each of these are and talk about the differences. Global and local variables refer to where the variable is defined and how it can be accessed within the style sheet. Global variables are defined using the colon root selector and can be accessed from anywhere in the style sheet. Global variables are also known as custom properties. Local variables, on the other hand, are defined within a specific selector or rule and can be only accessed within that scope. Local variables are also known as scoped variables. The main difference between global and local variables is that global variables are accessible from anywhere in the style sheet, while local variables are only accessible within the selector or rule that they are defined in. Global variables are useful for defining global styles that need to be reused throughout the website, while local variables are useful for defining specific styles for a particular element or component. When we create a global variable, we need to start off by declaring the global variable. We do this by using colon root, then we put the variable name and assign the value. In this case, I've created a variable called primary color and I'm assigning a value of 069. This variable can now be used in any part of the style sheet by referencing the primary color. As you can see down here, I'm using it in this way by specifying color and then saying var and in the parentheses passing on the name of the variable. When you use a local variable, the variable is defined within the selector. As you can see in this example, I'm defining a variable called color and assigning a value of 069 and then in that same selector, I'm actually using the variable for the color property. This variable can only be used within this selector or any nested selectors. It cannot be accessed outside of that scope. The main difference between global and local variables is that the global variables are accessible from anywhere in the style sheet, while local variables are only accessible within the selector or rule that they are defined in. Global variables are useful for defining global styles that need to be reused throughout the website while local variables are useful for defining specific styles for a particular element or component. Let's talk about why you would use each type of variable. As you know, global variables, also known as custom properties, can be useful for a few reasons. Global variables can help to maintain consistency throughout your website by providing a centralized location to define and update styles that are used across multiple elements or components. By defining a global variable, you can ensure that all the elements that use that style will have consistent appearance. Global variables can help to make your CSS code more efficient by reducing the amount of code that you need to write and maintain. By defining a global variable, you can easily reuse that style throughout your code without having to repeat the same values over and over again. Global variables can provide more flexibility in your CSS code by allowing you to define styles that can be easily customized or adapted for different contexts or states. An example might be that you define a global variable for a background color of a website, and then you may use different values for that variable depending on the time of day, the user's preference, or other factors. Overall, global variables can be a powerful tool for making your CSS code more consistent, efficient, and flexible. By defining global variables, you can ensure that your website has a consistent appearance and can be easily customized or adapted for different contexts or states. Local variables, also known as scoped variables, can be useful for several reasons as well. Local variables can help to make your CSS more modular and reusable by allowing you to define a set of styles for a particular element or component. By defining a local variable within a selector, you can easily reuse that variable throughout the selector and any nested selectors. Local variables can help to make your CSS code more maintainable by providing a clear and concise way to define styles for a particular element or component. By using local variables, 
you can easily update the styles for a particular element or component without affecting other parts of your code. Local variables can provide more flexibility in your CSS code by allowing you to define styles that are specific to a particular context or state. For example, you might want to define a local variable for the background color of a button in its normal state, and then define a different local variable for the background color of the button in its hover state. Overall, local variables can be a powerful tool for making your CSS code more modular, maintainable, and flexible. By defining local variables within a selector, you can easily reuse and update styles for a particular element or component without affecting other parts of your code. CSS global and local variables have different use cases and serve different purposes in a style sheet. Here are some comparisons between using global and local CSS variables. The main difference between global and local variables is the scope in which they can be used. Global variables are accessible from anywhere in the style sheet, while local variables are only accessible within the selector or rule that they're defined in. Both global and local variables can be used to make CSS code more reusable. Global variables are best used for defining styles that are used in multiple elements or components throughout the website while local variables are best used for defining styles that are as specific to a particular element or component. Both global and local variables can be used to make CSS code more maintainable. Global variables are best used for defining styles that are used in multiple elements or components throughout the website, while local variables are best used for defining styles that are specific to a particular element or component. Both global and local variables can provide flexibility in CSS code. Global variables can be used to define styles that can be easily customized or adapted for different contexts or states. Local variables can also be used to define styles that are specific to a particular context or state. In general, global variables are best used for defining styles that are used in multiple elements or components throughout the website while local variables are best used for defining styles that are specific to a particular element or component. Both global and local variables can be used to make CSS code more reusable, maintainable, and flexible, depending on the specific use case. Let's see how we can implement a local variable. Here's a page that we were working on previously. I've already created quite a few global variables and I'm using them throughout the web page. But let's say that I want my article headings to look different from the main subheadings. Since these are both using H2s, they're being styled in the same way because of this rule right here. If we want to make this heading, though, look different, let's go ahead and use a local variable to do that. I'll go into my HTML, and as you can see, this H2 is inside an article with a class of container. I'll use that for my CSS selector. I'm going to use a selector of container h2. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and define a local variable within this rule. So what we're going to set is we're going to set the background color, and I'm going to specify the hex value is a slightly lighter shade of teal. Now in order to use that color, we need to go ahead and write the property of background-color, and then I'll go ahead and specify var, I'll use my dash dash and we'll use the BG color rule that we just created. If we save our page and we refresh, you can see that the background color of this particular element has now changed to this lighter teal. In addition to that, let's go ahead and use one of our global variables to control the actual color. I'll go ahead and use my color property. I'll use var and I'm going to use dash dash, and we'll use our typical background color, which is a lighter shade of gray. And as you can see, that's going to apply to this element. Now, if we try to use this BG color variable in some other context, let's come down to our button, and instead of using the background color of primary color, let's plug in the BG color variable that we created up above. If we save and we refresh, you're going to see how that color is not going to display. 
And that's because this is a local variable. It is only available inside of our container H2. If we try to apply it to something else on our page, it will not work. So as you can see, there is a difference between our global variables, which are available anywhere within our CSS, and the local variables, which are only available within this particular selector or any nested selectors that we might be using for this particular element.